Today I'm going to share with you how to make this really simple and delicious treat. It's nut free and there are these crispy little sunflower balls. So what you'll need for these sunflower butter balls is organic sunflower seed butter, of course. Some buttery spread, but if you're not vegan you can just use butter. Organic vanilla extract, maple syrup, and I have these organic sorghum flakes, which are crisped and they taste very much like crisp rice cereal. So if you don't have these, you can certainly use organic rice krispies. So this is extremely quick and easy, and there's absolutely no science to this. If you want a quick dessert, just throw these ingredients together to your liking. So I'm first going to add a nice big dollop of the sunflower seed butter. Mm. Now because this is not roasted or salted, it's raw, I'm going to go ahead and add in a little bit of Himalayan salt. Next I'm going to judge about how much of the sunflower butter I have there. And to that I'm going to add about half of this amount. So if it's two tablespoons, I'm going to add one tablespoon of butter or unorganic buttery spread. And then the same amount of the butter, you're going to add maple syrup. That looks good to me. You'll know once you start mixing if the texture is right. I'm just going to add in a little dash of vanilla. Just a touch. That's probably a little bit too much, but again, like I said, you're just going to have a quick dessert. And these are great for kids, for lunches, or just little snacks. So we're just going to mix this all together until everything's incorporated. And once it's all incorporated, we're going to taste it now for the balance of salty and sweet. Mmm, so good. Mmm. Mmm, that's delicious. And then I'm going to go ahead and add in about a equal amount. So we got like a quarter of a bowl here. And add another quarter of a bowl of the sorghum flakes or rice krispies, whatever you have on hand that's crispy. And if you don't want any grain in it at all, you can just add some crushed sunflower seeds. But it won't give you that nice crispy texture that the sorghum or the rice krispies will give you. You can also get uh, sprouted Rice Krispies from One Degree Foods. I've had those and I've used those as well. And you can also get the Cocoa Crisps, I think, the sprouted ones from One Degree. So this is what I mean by seeing how it is and, and adding to it. It's still a little bit nut buttery, so I'm going to add in a bit more of the crispy. And this is how I do most of my recipes. When I film them for you guys, it's usually the second time around when I take measurements. But you don't always need to measure. Okay, that looks better. Mm. Now we're going to go ahead and take about a teaspoon, heaping teaspoon at a time. Yep. And roll them into balls. And it's a little bit messy, which we're just gonna set those aside. And I'll just continue on and make little balls out of this. So here they are. They were very quick and easy to make, and an absolutely delicious, crispy, 
A nut free treat. Let's just have one. Mm. So good.